In one corner is Therese, the knockout Aaron. In the other, her opponent, Joanne, the Tigress Hutchins. We're not just getting in there to throw punches for fun. We're doing it for a great cause. The two women were among the 22 women and men who volunteered to box during this year's Long Island Fight for Charity at the Hilton Long Island. Therese is a breast cancer survivor and involved with Women Who Kick, a nonprofit group that stemmed out of the organization Moms Who Kick, founded by Joanne in 2008. My organization, Moms Who Kick, is a breast cancer charity promoting physical fitness and proper nutrition to lead a healthy lifestyle. Um, and, you know, why did I start it? Because my mother is a breast cancer survivor. She was diagnosed in 2008. My aunt is also a breast cancer survivor. Those are the two first in my family to be diagnosed with it and so I wanted to do something to make a difference. So many women wanted to get involved. We realized it was time to, to branch it out and open it up to all women as pretty much everyone at some point in time has been touched in, by cancer, whether it's breast cancer or otherwise, one way or another. You know, and hopefully one day there'll be a men who kick. These two tough women who kick wanted to get involved in the 10th annual event to help other charities on the island. It is absolutely amazing. The fact that they've been doing this for 10 years and that it's a sellout crowd almost every year and that's dedicated towards helping Long Islanders who are in need, to me it just doesn't get better than that. Long Island Fight for Charity was founded in 2003 by three friends, Jeff Cohen, Matt Silver, and Jamie Austin. Jeff has been boxing since he was a young boy and presented the idea to have a boxing event to raise money for the nonprofit group Family Residences and Essential Enterprises, or FREE. The organization assists and provides services to those with special needs. That first year, there were 700 people in attendance, and they raised $36,000. Since then, the annual event has grown tremendously. It's regular people, people like you, like, like her, like him, they, they, they want to do something out of the box and really interesting for charity. So. This is, you know, they train, they have to train, they have to fundraise, so you're taking time away from your family. You're, you're going out there and you're hitting everybody up, you know, for money. And on top of that, you have to go to a gym for a certain amount of training time and spend time learning how to punch and be punched. So it's really, um, it's a huge commitment that these people make. It's a great opportunity to raise money for local people. At the same time, do something that I've never had an opportunity to do. This was Michael, the closer Haltman's first time participating in the event. He and all of the boxers have been training and preparing for the fight for the past six months. Jumping ropes, sparring, hitting the heavy bag, uh, trying to run and just lose some weight, which has been great. I started out my training at around 242 and I'm down to about 226. You don't have to put your gloves on and get into a ring to fight for charity. You just got to buy a ticket, volunteer, make a donation, and the community, there's over 100 volunteers that are here tonight. So the community really comes out and they love the event. Since the event was founded, they have helped more than 40 charities and have raised about $100,000, including nearly 300000 from this year's event. It's about helping others. It's about doing the right thing. It's about people dedicating six months out of their lives to better other people and raising money for three major charities on Long Island. And then once they raise a certain amount of money, they can dedicate the money to other charities that are their favorites on Long Island. There's three staple charities, uh, Family Residences and Essential Enterprises, the Genesis School, which is for uh, adults and young adults and children who are diagnosed with autism, um, wonderful organization. And then the Long Island Community Chest is the organization that I went to and said, look, I want to do this event. I'd like to do it with you guys. And that's where Jamie and Matt came in. And, the community chest helps Long Islanders with short-term issues. So if, if you're a no normal family and you have some horrible happening in your life that just not kind of knocks you off the grid and you know bills are mounting up and this and that, and we could kind of help you get back to being a more normal life, tax paying citizens, not into, that's what we do. Alex El Toro Gallego raised about $12,000 this year. 10,000 went to Long Island Fight for Charity and the other 2,000 to his charity of choice, the Hispanic Cultural Center. This is Alex's second time participating. He fought back in 2007. There's so many ways that we can always give. This allows you to really put everything in there. Spiritual, mental, emotional, financial. So you really can really get yourself involved. The event consisted of 11 matches and each match ended 
in a tie. You know, they call it Strong Island and it's for a reason.